It's nearly half past six. Stay with us. It's time to join the BBC's news teams where you are. Goodbye. It was a symbol of everything that broadcasting in Yorkshire was so proud of. Tonight on Look North, we reflect on the saddest day in this region's broadcasting history. For more than 40 years, Yorkshire Television has brought us some all-time great programmes, watched and loved by millions. But now, one in four people who work on the site where Europe's first purpose-built television studios were built are losing their jobs. It's a dreadful state of affairs. 34, 35 years of making uh, tremendous programmes here. Shame. Great. Thank you very much. It's a bit like, in a way, central government. You know what I mean? Who don't really know what's happening at the, gra at the grassroots. A frosty night to come tonight with some icy patches. Your detailed five-day forecast later in the programme. We may well be rivals, but tonight both of us feel a real sense of loss at the end of a remarkable 40-year history. Now, not only is it a sad day for television, but you know, it's a sad day for Yorkshire, Harry. Just think of the programmes Yorkshire Television once made, from A Touch of Frost to Wicker's World. Darling Buds of May to New Statesman. And that doesn't even include old favourites such as Sesles and Rising Damp. And don't forget, we all grew up with stars on Sunday and Follyfoot. Well, today the rumours came true. Yorkshire Television's main studios on Kirksall Road in Leeds will close.